New York City, spring 1940. At the Bell Laboratory Complex in Manhattan, a young engineer named David Parkinson is using a device called a potentiometer to track the varying electrical voltages that course through a telephone when people use it. Parkinson's work with potentiometers seems unimportant compared to the big news of the day. The Nazis had begun their shattering blitz on Britain. The Nazis have conquered most of Europe, forcing the Allies to flee the continent in a ragtag flotilla of civilian boats after the Battle of Dunkirk. The Nazis were almost undefeatable at this time in the war, and there was a tremendous despair and fear amongst the Allied forces. And the story goes that David Parkinson had a dream one night, and in the dream, he was standing beside a certain type of gun. And that gun was hitting every Nazi plane with absolute accuracy. Parkinson's dream gave him a brilliant idea. He could use the same technology that tracked electrical charges flowing through a telephone to track enemy airplanes flying through the sky. And in the dream, he was able to see the technology that was created to make this gun so accurate. And it is said that when he awoke, he went back to the labs and he ultimately created the technology that was necessary to shoot down Nazi aircraft. Parkinson's dream inspired him to create the M9 electrical gun director, which allowed Allied anti-aircraft guns to hit moving targets like the dangerous V-1 rocket with incredible accuracy. But how could such an advanced weapon be completely realized in a single dream? The weird part about it is, this guy was a scientist, but he knew nothing about aeronautics. Because David Parkinson had no background in aerodynamics, his contemporaries, other scientists, and the military were literally taking him not seriously at all. But he insisted, and he even spent a lot of his own time creating prototypes, which eventually were found to work. Throughout human history, there are amazing stories of how mankind has been inspired through their dreams and through their visions. I think we have to ask ourselves, what is the source of this inspiration? Where do these dreams and visions come from? <laughs> 